There are several good reasons for a teacher and parents to get together and talk. Parents know things that can help the teacher and they can do things to help the school. Teachers in turn can answer parents' questions. Jerry didn't seem to be doing too well in arithmetic last quarter. Is he doing any better now? Yes, this time he's doing a lot better. What was the matter? We were working on multiplication and he just couldn't seem to get the principle until I tried a system we used with some of the other. Together, sharing what they know, parents and teachers can help the student learn more and grow up a stronger person. Parents and teachers need to communicate frequently. There are written reports, of course, but they are necessarily one-way communications. A report can arouse questions, but it can't answer them or ask them. In a conference, parents and teachers can exchange ideas and build on one another's thoughts. In many schools, conferences have become routine parts of the reporting process. But even if you know conferences are customary in your school, when the school calls you for a conference, your first response may be, what has Lauren done? Some parents react by trying to imagine what will happen, what's the trouble. Others try to forget about it until the day comes. But a conference you've prepared for can help your child learn more. It can enable the teacher to build classroom learning on interests developed in their leisure time outside the classroom. It can also add to the ways you contribute to the learning process at home. The teacher can tell you something about how your child learns best. Probably she'll be able to suggest new ways for you to help your son or daughter learn. One way the flashcards could be used is if you could flash them to him. He could read them to you. It'll be a review for him, and it'll be a good review. Because he won't really think it's reviewing, it'll be fun for him. Conferences are sometimes held in parents' homes or in the teacher's home. Usually, though, they're in the school building. It's a good idea for both parents to go to the conference if that's possible, or to take turns. In any event, discuss the conference with each other, both beforehand and afterwards. Discuss the conference with your child, too. She may have questions she'd like to have you ask, or things she'd like you to tell her teacher. Can I uh, do research on my own sometimes? Can Sharon help me in arithmetic? I want to sit with Joyce. If the school has an open house, that's the time to discuss general questions about the school, not about your individual daughter or son. How big are the more advanced classes? What methods are you using to teach Spanish? How do you decide which group to put the kids in? What is this about art being a frill? For a conference, on the other hand, bring out all the questions you have about what your daughter or son does in school about schoolwork, behavior, activities. Are there rumors you want to check out? Do you want to know what's behind the news? Do you have complaints? Are there things you think it's important for the teacher to know? The teacher may want to ask you some questions too that will make it easier to help your child learn. What does Sarah say about the communications project? What does Joanne do in her spare time? Where and when does Chris do homework? What does Brett do to help at home? In your school, students may or may not be invited to conferences. Respect the school's policy on this. If your child wasn't invited, don't take her or him or any brothers or sisters. See whether the school has a nursery or playground where they will look after younger pupils and their siblings during conferences. Or get someone to stay with your young children. Make a point of being on time. The teacher may have other meetings scheduled after yours and you don't want to cut your conference short. When all your and the teacher's questions are answered, 
You may want to plan things you can do afterwards. Perhaps reading together. Changes in study conditions. Or in rules or routines. Perhaps help from specialists. Take notes at the conference or write afterwards so you'll know just what you've found out and what you've agreed to do. Leave the conference at the scheduled time so as not to keep other parents waiting. If you feel there is more to be said, let the teacher know and see whether another meeting is possible. Discuss the meeting with your son or daughter. First, the strengths that were mentioned. Then the things that need to be done and the plans you've made about them. Begin carrying out the plans. Call on the teacher or on specialized school staff members when you have a question or need help. Let your child know that you and the school are partners.